is now trapped in pauper's drop. All railcar travel is suspended until he is found. Remember, the enemy is alone. We are the family. Lamb's trying to box us in, kid. This is a goddamn citywide lockdown. To keep the train moving, you need the security override key from the local governor, Grace Holloway. She kicked me out of my own hotel down here, the Sinclair Deluxe. Find her and get that key. I remember you, monster. You stole Eleanor from me. Twisted that baby girl into a thing so sick it can't even die. And now you come swanning into my neighborhood looking for me. Wrong turn, Tin Daddy. We hang you from a street light and you choking out your last. I want you to remember my face. Papa's drops the worst neighborhood in Rapture, but it's a hell of an opportunity to raise up some uh, affordable housing. When Atlantic Express was constructing their luxury passenger line, this place was hollowed out beneath as flop houses for the railway crew. Nobody was supposed to reside down here long term, but when you're broke in this town, you're not exactly swimming in alternatives. I don't favor spending more than an hour or so down here at a time. There ain't a side of the tracks more wrong than under them. Grace says, piss off and die, shit. Well, sport, I guess Gracie's home. But that big lug just dropped half my damn hotel in your way. Now, to break through that mess, I expect you're gonna have to work out 
how he got so burly. Find yourself a genetic research camera, son. You can pick up any number of tricks from a splicer with one of those. Try the pawn shop downtown. Drops the worst neighborhood in Rapture, but it's a hell of an opportunity to raise up some uh, affordable housing. When Atlantic Express was constructing their luxury passenger line, this place was hollowed out beneath as flop houses for the railway crew. 
Nobody was supposed to reside down here long term, but when you're broke in this town, you're not exactly swimming in Family? alternatives. Family? That monster has taken a lot of our babies for his so own. Tin Daddy is hollow like a jail cell wrong. that needs filling, and, and he will never let her him. go unless you hunt him down. I'm sorry. Let me try.
The monster has taken another of our children, family. He would turn her from us just as he did to Eleanor. Show this thing what befalls the boogeyman when he steps into our god. This is it. Sir I made this railroad from nothing. Played by Mr. Ryan's rules. Then he asks me to sink my own cash reserves into the banks to give Rapture some breathing room. And now, now Austin, goddamn Bathysphere wants to buy me out. Decommission the entire rail. Oh, I have no family. And no time for friends. I am the Atlantic Express. And this... Rights, Doctor. You're free to kneel before whatever tribal fetish you favor in the comfort of your own home. But in rapture, liberty is our only law. A man's only duty is to himself. To imply otherwise, therefore, is criminal. Ask yourself, Andrew. What is your great chain of progress but a faith? The chain is a symbol for an irrational force guiding us towards ascension. No less mystic than the crucifixes you seize and burn. stash in his clinic to spice up a rhinoceros. Of course every poor soul in a drop's gonna start beating down your door. It's my job to think up a new key code to keep him out. Seems like every other day now. Nuts. I'll mull it over for a while at the fishbowl diner.
Well, there's the pawn shop, but it's bolted up tight. You'll have to find another way inside, I expect. to grovel at lamb's feet. Even after what you did to her, Dr. Lamb found a way to shape that girl into something perfect, something holy. She's a daughter to us all. Nobody in Rapture will shelter you now. Grace has got the wrong idea. You're not responsible for turning Eleanor into a little sister. Big daddies are just slaves, and you only recently broke free.
I hear a creep. Ooh, heavens! <laughs> That thing's a miracle in Technicolor, kid. Works like a movie camera. Start the film rolling before you open fire on a splicer, and then anything you hit him with tells you more about his DNA. Let's give it a dry run, shall we? That's it, son. Camera spits out a prize once in a while as you learn what makes a splice a tick. Now, find one of those big old brutes and take them out on film. Before long, you'll be able to brush aside that mess at the hotel. on the property. folks lived in the St. Louis Hooverville in 32. 
and the drop is worse by a mile. Nobody's supposed to live down here. City pissing on us. Never try. Ryan doesn't care and Fontaine's a damn crook. But Dr. Lamb cares. We're still people to her. She's offering free mental counseling on Sundays. When I go, I get the feeling she's got a plan for Rapture. And for me. Get out of my home! Oh. <laughs> direction. Get me the way. This can't Remember, son, without using that research camera, we can't get to Gracie. And that means we're stuck here. Get one of those big apes on film, then work him over. Using that camera is a bit like telling a joke. Each time you tell it the same way, it gets a little more stale, so you gotta change it up to keep it fresh.
Rain fool! 
one of those big goons now. Start your camera rolling on him, and then let him have it. Strike? Make it last, love. It is a made thing, a creature without soul. It does not create, it does not love. Get you, Sport, a regular junior shutterbug. And it appears you've picked up a new trick from that big galoot. Now get back to the Sinclair Deluxe and just bust through that mess blocking your way.
for grace. The paradise of Andrew Ryan was most unkind. She spoke against him in song, and he had her blacklisted. It left her penniless. But in the family, she has found hope, a reason to draw breath. Ask yourself, Delta, do you deserve to take it from her? It's this way! Just rev up that drill of yours and slam right through that pile of junk blocking your way. Now, Gracie was on the top floor. Get on up there and persuade her to give you that override key. Snatchers headed up into the hotel family. He wants me so he can get to Eleanor. Tin Daddy feels no guilt. Tin Daddy feels no pain. But we are the family and we can teach him how.
watching you hurt shouldn't give me such a lift, monster. But I'm not as clean on the inside as the doctor. I'll take my joy where I can. Outright masterpiece. Some slob shacked up here buys a box of syringe parts from me for twice what it's worth. He assembles them in his rat hole, and I buy back the finished product for a dime against the dollar that I'll get from Ryan. Profit coming, profit going. Old Andy rambles on about the great chain. I got people shelling out to pull it for me. Andrew Ryan told me that in Rapture, it didn't matter where you came from. Bump! Times got hard, and all our old bigotries bubbled right back up. But Dr. Lamb showed us that down under the skin, down under the money, down under our very name, we are family. Fight! 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 
paper effigies as secret bad. Grace's room is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness your way, so I'm not particular as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old, and this grudge against you was based on a misunderstanding. A hundred. What a snap. Give Sinclair a few bucks for a load of vials and needles, then it's evenings putting these syringes together while I listen to the radio. Sell them back to Sinclair twice the price. What a racket. A few pinpricks here and there is nothing to complain about. Gonna be back on top soon. Thank we you. Both we both died, died tonight, tonight, monster. Sucker. I, because, because your kind your has killing in its nature. nature. And you, and you, because, because there's, there's no, no way, way the family, family will let you let stroll, stroll out alive, alive with that key. key. I got in a fight with a dog eater today. His name is Amir, and he was picking on a smaller boy. We called a truce when his nose went red, but Mum says I'm becoming a barbarian. So I said, Eleanor, eat dogs now, too. Barbarian, happy. And Mum said, they only think they're happy because they're selfish and ignorant. Hmm, Eleanor, think ignorant sound like fun. Empty house. Only an echo to my name. Eleanor. Baby, where are you? I turned my back and someone took you. It happened so quick. I'm not even a half mama to you, girl. I couldn't protect you. This poster of Dr. Lamb in my room is staring me down like it knows I'm ashamed. I've always been loyal to your real mother, Eleanor. Always trusted her with my secrets. But I lost you. What will the doctor think of me now? I got 
got in a fight with a dog eater today. His name is Amir, and he was picking on a smaller boy. We called a truce when his nose went red. But Mum says I'm becoming a barbarian. So I said, Eleanor, eat dog now too. Barbarian, happy. And Mom said, they only think they're happy because they're selfish and ignorant. Hmm, Eleanor, think ignorant sound like fun. I know what you're here for. Go on, take it. I won't have you touching me. Dr. Lamb trusted me to care for her child. And I tried. But baby Eleanor disappeared. And then one day, I see her walking with you. Looking wrong. And when I tried to hold her, you knocked me down. Broke my jaw. So I'm ready, baby snatcher. Come on in and finish the job. Your call, friend. Grace is unarmed for what it's worth. You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor's waiting. You had me under a gun, yet you just walk away? No monster alive turns the other cheek. No monster does that. A thinking man does that.
These whirlybirds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm afraid this is all... All I can do for now. Hello? Is someone in the hall? <laughs> <laughs> Head back to the train station, sport. I'm taking you home. Well, sir, I don't know what to call you now. You've done more than just spare my life. You've opened my eyes. I need to put a few questions to Dr. Lamb. By sparing grace, do you seek to gain my trust? A feeble ruse. Your crocodile tears may poison her with doubt, but I 
am not so easy a mark. Ye who would murder the Lamb of God, ye shall never reach her God. Kid, come on, wake up now. There you are. I thought you rode that torpedo into the grate hereafter. I'm in Dionysus Park now. Train cars are shambles, leaking air. Whole damn place is flooded and sealed. But there's a pumping station back there on Siren Alley, and I believe you could jerry-rig it to drain the park out. That'd let you stroll right inside. Get to those pumps and hurry. I see Father Wales has parted you from your craft, and yet you cling to life. Congratulations. Today, Delta, you meet a man who has no fear of death. And for Eleanor, he would burn with a smile. Look at this rusty piece of crap! Show him what we got, boy. Make yourself up! Lord, what more do you wish of me? Your wretch of a servant waits for word. I have followed the letter of the Holy Mother Lamb, though she will not tell me the day of your return. I watched as you smote down the false father, Andrew Ryan, who tempted us away from your radiant gaze. But you would not speak to me, Lord. I have built for you this great temple and gathered your flock, yet still you were silent. Will you not strike me, poor brother blind, so he may at last behold your glory, as was done to Paul on the road to Damascus? I am alone, alone, and waiting for a sign. Mercy, I think that was Simon Wales. What's he done to himself? He and his brother were Rapture's architects, but when Doc Lamb came along, Simon got religion. He's got a kind of church down in the pumping station. Expect a reckoning when you are. I think Mother knows I'm helping you like this. She's accelerating my treatments. Don't give up on me.
Whale. You and I drafted Rapture's blueprint together. Whales and whales, architects. Do you remember? But Andrew Ryan led us astray, my brother. Turned us from the Almighty. Dr. Lamb offers you salvation, Daniel. I ask only for proof that the barest flicker of faith remains in you. I left a gift for you at the Pink Pearl, in your offices. Find the code on it, brother. We shall pray together for your sorry soul. Lord, what more do you wish of me? Your wretch of a servant waits for word. I have followed the letter of the Holy Mother Lamb, though she will not tell me the day of your return. I watched as you smote down the false father, Andrew Ryan, who tempted us away from your radiant gaze. But you would not speak to me, Lord. I have built for you this great temple and gathered your flock, yet still you were silent. Will you not strike me, poor brother, blind, so he may at last behold your glory, as was done to Paul on the road to Damascus? I am alone, Lord, alone and waiting for a sign. I've got the maddening notion that I owe you my life, stranger. Such as it is, I'm sending you a care package to the new mo along the way. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Dr. Lamb. Well, Mr. Diary, Mom's got a new security system to stop me from seeing Amir and the other kids. But security's just made of bits and bobs, like you are. And now we're the best of friends. Isn't that right? Anyway, Amir's got a whole book about the surface. It has India and Ireland and... and everywhere. Yes, all right, Mr. Diary. If you must know, I do think Amir's kind of pretty for a dog eater. Oh no! Retreat! Eleanor, come back here at once. What's it? Hold them down, lads. Are you? The Pearl 
was among the ritziest lodgings in Rapture. But during the war, the residents put themselves up for sale. Daniel's office is on the top floor, I believe. in my time, and they've all got their kinks. But I think Rupert beats all. Keeps wanting me to splice up in the act. Says it'll heighten it for both of us. <laughs> I said, honey, I ain't doing it for the heights. I'm doing it for the scratch. Besides, Danny would have a fit if I started needling. He does it himself, of course. But what's good for the gander gets the goose thrown off the drop. be Daniel. Hunt him down and pin his ears back, kid.
brother sends you now? The metal second hand you are! Simon and I designed cathedrals together. But I was the black old sheep back there, never believing a word of the Jesus bollocks myself. Then, Andrew Ryan says he wants Wales and Wales for rapture. A cathedral with no God, befitting the ascent of man. Now I'm running girls, and Simon thinks he's saving souls. <laughs> Father Wales. Ha! Can you believe I shared a womb with such a slap? Tonight, I had a pain in me head, and this time it wasn't from the whining of the horse. So naturally, I came up to me office to murder it with a drink. But there on me liquor rack, as a bottle of sacramental wine from my dear brother Simon. <laughs> and of course, the vintage date on the label is the code to enter his territory. 1919. I should pass his bleeding wine through me system, send it back warm. Delta. It lives within us, yet beyond us. Daniel Wales lacked it. Father Simon Wales does not. The faithful do not die in fear, as you did. We achieve martyrdom. <laughs> Oh, 
Through this junction is the rest of the alley, including the very pumping station we are after. Father Wales has been recruiting holy rollers down there. They are for lamb. They've cut the power on you. You're stuck till the backups kick in. I'll help you hold them back. Check the new mode. Know this, beast. Daniel's body may go cold, but his soul rests with the child of the lamb. You shall roast and blacken in the pit, and it'll be a grieving brother sends you there. Oh, no. 
your sin itself marches to meet you, beast. And its name is Legion! Salvation, demon. You shall not rob us of our final reward. I think you're closing in on Simon's underground temple. Now get down to pumping station number five and drain out the park here. Oxygen's running thin in this train car, and I'd sure hate to see our partnership cut short. Ask yourself, Delta. You, who have suffered beyond measure at the hands of men like Ryan, what is the cost of paradise? To end pain, to end sin, what must we pay? Eleanor is my answer.
science facility, Fontaine Futuristics. I've got to find it. I've heard the splicers mumbling that Alexander is the ferryman. science facility, Fontaine Futuristics. I've got to find it. I've heard the splicers mumbling that Alexander is the ferryman. Sunshine means angels. See the light in the tummy? I can do 
I'm all alone here, Mr. Diary. You're my whispering friend. A doctor keeps coming to see me. He says Rapture needs me, and tomorrow I'll be leaving with him. I ask why, and he just smiles. I'm not an orphan. Mom's alive somewhere, and Aunt Gracie is still probably looking for me. But I can't wait for them. I'm going to escape and find Amir. And we'll steal a submarine. Before it's tomorrow, I'll know what sunshine feels like. Uh, 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 
blokes talk. <laughs> Just make it. Somehow an Alpha Series wanders too far from his little sister, our physical failsafe kicks in, a chemical trigger that induces coma. It is a symbiotic relationship enforced by the girl's pheromone signature. The first successful candidate was Delta, I believe. It is unfortunate that poor Dr. Su Chong will not be here to raise a glass. Daddy, 
girls you rescued are on your side. Check the gatherer's garden for a package. to play, Mr. P. More Adam for big Our soul shall pass into her holy blood and will be reborn as a single immaculate body. We were strangers a couple of nights ago. You ain't her real body! You stop with her! You're not here! 
Until Adam, the human animal was a slave to the gene, the inner tyrant. Lust, greed, rage, self-obsession was etched into our DNA. We were not pulling the great chain of progress, as Ryan believed, but shackled to it. But now, in theory, we can redraft the human blueprint. Serving the common interest can become as natural as breathing. The tyrant will simply go extinct. Here's the angel! Angels remember mommy.
Hi, Daddy. It's close. The beast is upon us, children. It wears a hide of iron, and its hands are death and change. It would seize the child from us, and with her, paradise itself! Be ye soldier of the ground, or angel of the sky, ye must stand fast and send it howling back to hell! Oh! <laughs> 
in the back. One thing though, once you transfer the suction to Dionysus Park, we've got a tiny window of opportunity to get you inside. I don't have much air left, but I'll hang in there. You make sure you're ready before you throw that switch.
I do love Siren Alley, the kind of place you go to scratch an itch you're ashamed of, even in a town with no laws. But that's not why I favor it. The place started out as the Mason's Quarter, all builders and architects, proper as you please. And it just tickles me when someone in a fancy hat falls in the mud. Like a lot of the ladies down here, Siren Alley was born with a more respectable name. But only God remembers what it was. Too slow! <laughs> gonna 
Listen, my supplier's got a new shipment of plasmids coming in, and I need you to pick them up from the lab in Hedon Plaza. There's a hidden switch to open the back door. It's tucked away under the cash register in the shop front. And don't let nobody see you do it. Otherwise, we'll have splices crawling all over the damn place trying to get a taste. You gotta pay your customer over here.
Do you think me a tyrant, Delta? Vying for control of a dead man's dream? The city is nothing. Rapture must die so that Eleanor may rise from its body. Allow me to demonstrate. Lambs overloading the pumps. The place is coming down. Get to Dionysus Park. Subject Delta, I want you to commit this moment to memory for me. This howling, brutish slog through the dark. This is who we are. It is the world for which you strive. You, alone among the dead. 